Time for another 12 month update on some denim. Um, tonight is these wonderful jeans from uh, Oni. Um, these are the 902 ZRs in the 20 ounce secret denim. Um, been wearing these all year in rotation mainly with these Benzacs here. Um, so the Benzacs have been largely worn at work. These have been sort of out, out of work at the weekends and stuff like that. So they've seen plenty of wear. And there's some really interesting evolution on these, uh, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, but just initially, a little bit about uh, the denim, uh, about my experience with the denim and, and how it's built. Um, so only a not about sort of labels and fancy features, they are all about the fabric. Um, the, uh, the fabric is built, made on the loom by a single uh, artisan, if I understand correctly, an elderly gentleman, around 70 years old, um, making all the fabric that only use in their jeans, which is really, really interesting. Um, another sort of particular thing about Oni denim is the texture. It's all about the texture, and we'll see some of that in a minute, um, but they are super, super slubby. So that's a sort of uh, the thread size, the, the, the fiber size is uh, varying in a natural way. Um, it brings out sort of little pops of highlights. It's rough to the feel and there's some real sort of variation in the thickness of, uh, of the weave. It's also very, very loose, which makes it a lovely breathable fabric. Um, so this is a 20 ounce fabric, but with a loose weave, it's really, really breathable. So it doesn't feel hot in the summer and it also stretches out a lot. Um, so this is a, a relaxed high rise fit. Um, in hindsight, I went for a 33 inch waist tab size um, I think it was around about 33 inches true to fit uh, initially, but it stretched out loads, so it ended up being around about 35 on the waist, which is a little bit more generous than I'd normally wear. So um, if you're thinking about Oni, do check out the sizing charts. Um, I got this from Denimo. Um, if you want to try it, Denimo, I'll give you a code. It'll be below the video, 10% off for your first purchase. But they have sizing charts of... Um, unwashed and one wash. Now these came one wash, but between those two charts, you'll get a feel for how much it will stretch out with wear. And that's really quite helpful. Um, but this fabric really, really stretchy. So expect probably around about two inches on the waist. Um, whereas a lot of fabrics you'd, you'd expect about an inch. Um, now I've learned from that experience with these only um, six, eight, nines, I really sized down on the waist. Um, they're also a much more sort of what I'd call a modern and sort of European cuts, they're much slimmer in the leg, good taper, and actually, you know, with the stretch, they've ended up with perfect jeans. These, for me, um, and we'll show you some shots with them on, they're much more relaxed than I like. I like a much slimmer silhouette. I'm a kind of a skinny guy, so I like my jeans to, to match me, but these have been super comfy, um, but maybe something a little bit less formal, something to wear with sort of trainers and that sort of things. Um, but yeah, your mileage might vary. For me, it's a little bit of a uh, more generous cut than I normally like. So, um, as I say, these have been worn all year round and the beginnings of their evolution have really just started. Um, one thing I'll say with this fabric, because it's so soft, it's almost got that sort of sweat, sweatpants that feel straight out of the box. Um, you, you do get a gentler fade. Equally, it's worth noting the colour of this indigo. It's a much lighter and greener hue to my eye than a lot of other jeans. So with the Benzacs here, I'd say that was a much more faithful sort of royal blue, even though that's got a good, about, good amount of fade and wear on them, but it's a very, very standard royal blue uh, indigo. Likewise, we've got some uh, iron hearts here, lovely denim, very different to the uh, Onis. This is a very tight weave. Um, very consistent, very little slub, but again, a very deep, dark indigo. Um, the Onis have got a much more lighter hue, so that sort of comes through in how they fade. Um, the fades aren't quite as sharp, but where they do come through, it's almost like the, the paint's flaked off. It's, it goes straight to white, and certainly on the, uh, the slubby fibres, it, it really pops out white. Um, so I think probably the best thing to do is come in and check that out in some close-ups, and then we'll wrap it up. Coming in for some close-ups here, 
Um, for this video, I'll mainly focus on the fades because if you've seen my early videos, we can go through some details there. Um, the first thing that really sort of struck me about these jeans is that the, the softer sort of fabric, um, the very loose weave, does lead to fades with slightly less contrast than you might see on a more conventional sort of tight weave uh, denim. Obviously you can see some nice highlights and whiskers coming through here, but if we compare them to another pair of jeans that I've been wearing for the last year, which is the, uh, the Benzacs, I feel that the Benzacs here do come through with some much stronger contrast in this sort of more traditional fabric. And equally another pair of jeans which I had in circulation for about a year is the Iron Hearts. And again, I think on these sort of more conventional uh, tighter weave fabrics you do see a stronger contrast coming through. Um, but that's not to say that the Onis don't have a beautiful uh, quality to them. So with the Onis it's all about the texture. So on the thigh here you can see the sort of I'll sort of refer to it almost like a Morse code sort of pattern, the dots and dashes of the slub and the way that that sort of popped out and lost its uh, indigo very, very quickly. As I've said earlier, this indigo is a, a much lighter colour, not the sort of deep dark royal blue and it's always got a greenish hue to it. Um, what I found is quite hard to pair with other denims if you want to go double denim. So as you see on the front here, you've got some nice whiskers setting in, some highlights around the edges of the pockets. The fifth pocket's got a rather nice uh, selvage detail on the inside. Um, one thing I liked about the, uh, the, the black onies I've picked up is they've got a little flag of selvage on the edge of their fifth pocket. Um, doesn't have it on these ones, but nice all the same. Construction is great throughout. Um, but very, very little branding. You've got these sort of nice sort of donut cast buttons with only branding all the way around. Uh, the rivets, the hidden rivets at the back, are just branded universal. Little only branding in there. On the uh, on the crutch, somewhere where you know you will see some good fading, and also you need to be careful for blowouts as well. So. I uh, soak and wash regularly. Um, every three months I'll either do a soak or a wash, so that does give a little bit long, bit more longevity to these high stress areas. So nice pops of colour. Going down the legs, there's lots of nice fading on the thighs. Coming down a little bit. Now I did initially wear these um, uncuffed, um, but because of the, the high rise and loose waistband, um, they did ride quite low, so even at a 34 inch leg, I did feel that a cuff was needed. Uh, stacking wasn't really working out for me. Nice salvage there with a sort of salmon pink pop along it. But no sort of stacks really down the bottom here. So a lovely sort of particularly thick bit of thread there. Lovely bit of imperfection. And that's really what these jeans are all about. That's what only are about, the super slubby, sort of handcrafted artisan denim. Going around to the rear, got some really nice pops of colour on the back of the, uh, the yoke here. So obviously where it's particularly proud, it loses its colour first. It's on the belt loop, on the sort of stack of seams there, around the edges of the pockets, these lovely arc details. Unlined pockets, very simple construction, obviously a nice only goat skin patch there. And moving down, one thing that's particularly sort of notable, um, normally you sort of get a strong feel for the, the honeycombs at the backs of the knees after about a year. Now there's a little bit of shadow in here, but nothing really that strong with the honeycombs. So if we do another comparison, uh, the Benzacs who have had a year's worth of wear, the honeycombs really are incredibly strong at the back there with this more conventional starchy tight woven denim. We'll do a year review on these, it's got another sort of month or so to go but something coming up on those shortly but this softer denim does fade rather differently. Well that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. Um, one thing I didn't go over earlier with the, the the sizing. Um, so I did say that they stretched out quite a lot on the waist. So these are a 33 uh, tag size. 
Um, the waist, with a bit of break in now, is at 35. The front rise, now these are high rise, so the front rise is 11 and a quarter inches. The rear is 16 and a half. The thigh is 13 inches. Going down to the knee, measuring 14 inches down, the knee is at about 8.5 inches. At the cuff, we're at 7 inches. And the inseam is 34. Okay, well I think that's pretty much about it. Um, I've really enjoyed these. A very, very different denim to what I've experienced before. Really interesting uh, sort of weave to it, the slubby nature of it, um, probably one of the most interesting uh, denims I've experienced and certainly one of the most comfy to wear. Um, you know, these, as I say, are pretty heavy, they're 20 ounces, um, but really comfortable to wear even in hot weather, so really nice and breathable. Um, easy going, so they stretch out nicely. Um, certainly an interesting denim to have in the collection. Okay, well if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. As you can tell, I'm pretty into denim. Also really interested in quality footwear, work boots, that sort of thing, Red Wings, Thorough Goods, um, Dana, check it out. Also everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, bit of cycling, bit of guitar. Um, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Obviously I'd love it if you subscribed. If you want to start your denim journey, check out the link below and there's a 10% discount code for you to use there. Um, and I hope that's useful, okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.